Hello and welcome to episode 13 of the Daily Decrypt. Today, Bitcoin is $267, Dash is $2.34, BitShares is 40% of 1 cent, and Monero is 39 cents. And if you don't hear 25% less outdoor noise today, we'll give you your money back guaranteed. In cryptocurrency news, Library.io is in its beta testing phase. What is Library.io? Its founders say it's what would happen if Bitcoin and BitTorrent had a baby, but I myself would add storage if storage Bitcoin and BitTorrent had a baby. I'm not sure I fully grasp it myself, so let me just describe it to you the way the website does. Example. Ernest wants to release his comedy horror film, Ernie Goes to Guantanamo Bay. His film is encrypted and sliced into many pieces. These pieces are then stored by library hosts, which I'm going to think of as a node. Ernest then reserves an easy-to-remember URI that points directly to his content. He then submits a description and a thumbnail for his film, and this metadata is stored by the miners. And finally, Hillary, who is a patron and wants to watch Ernest's movie, visits his URI and her library client unscrambles and puts together the data making up his film. If Ernest has chosen to charge for the film, Hillary pays to get the decryption keys. If he hasn't, she gets it for free. Miners and nodes are both paid by patrons accessing content. On an interesting side note, the founder of Library, Jeremy Kaufman, was one of the main voices behind the push in New Hampshire to legalize Bitcoin for payment of taxes. In other cryptocurrency news, the Russian publication Forklog has decided to take their fundraising in an entirely new direction. After a traditional fundraising effort yielded mixed reviews earlier this year, Forklog has just issued their own assets on the NXT cryptocurrency. The Forklog asset has 1.3 million units, and within its first few hours for sale, over 300,000 NXT were traded for it. In further cryptocurrency news, Reports continue to come forward from users of the online exchange Cryptsy that withdrawals are being prevented. A Bitcoin subreddit user reports that Cryptsy is holding 21 of his Bitcoins. Users beware. And in a bit of fun cryptocurrency news, I've just discovered a new channel called World Bitcoin Tour in which a jet-setting young man has visited at least seven different regions and filmed the equivalent of music videos of himself visiting merchants and individuals who accept and use Bitcoin all around the world. Let him know! On top of the world Tonight I'm seeing things in a different light On top of the world Tonight Now to health news. TechCrunch reports that the genetics company 23andMe is back in business. The company became immensely popular years back for helping people identify their genetics and their inherited traits through simple mail-in DNA samples. So popular, in fact, that the U.S. government forbid 23andMe from continuing to perform this most popular service. In more health news, CNN reports on a similar story as we reported on yesterday. A hospital in Miami used a 3D printer to print out a model of a four-year-old's defective heart. They used this model to develop and practice a surgery that they would do on her. The surgery was successful and the four-year-old's life has been saved. In security news, the website Cybrary.it is offering a free online social engineering and manipulation training class. This class is designed to teach people to protect themselves from hacking, as they believe that 90% of hacking is the human and not the machine element. The Hacker News reports that the class will better help you prepare yourself for defense against social engineering attacks, as well as to ethically use these skills for your own intelligence gathering. 
And in gadgetry news, today is Back to the Future Day. Exactly 30 years after Marty McFly and Doc set their DeLorean to visit October 21st, 2015. Correspondingly, tinkerers at Stanford have demonstrated this self-driving DeLorean that's been programmed to drift. Why program a self-driving car to drift? The tinkerers claim that any self-driving car ought to be able to perform maneuvers to get it out of harm's way. And to celebrate the holiday further, Magner, the Bitcoin bank, has tweeted this image. And that has been your Daily Decrypt. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave a comment if you feel like telling me something, and certainly share it around with your friends.